my parents were both great readers. Uh, there were books in our house, uh, in our houses as I was growing up. And uh, uh, my father, my mother is a great conversationalist, and my father is, was a great storyteller. Um, and uh, so the combination of having books uh, around our dinner table conversations, my sisters were very smart. Uh, people and you know we had lots of dinner table conversations that usually ended up in some argumentative discussion and uh, you know we'd, we'd, we would repair to the library to encyclopedias or books of uh, history or biographies to uh, find out who was right. Landmark books, I read all the Hardy Boy books uh, you know but and uh, and I, I loved Harold and the Purple Crayon. People ask you know about you know first books and you know, when I was really little, that was my favorite book. And I finally, finally, about the age of 11, my daughter Madeline said to, to me, she said, Dad, can we stop reading Harold and the Purple Crayon? I think I'm a little old for it now. You know, I kept reading it to them over and over again. I've got lots of con concentrations of my interests. So you can, you can see over here, there, there are shell, you know, three big shelves of uh, books on and by Winston Churchill. I've, and I've published a book myself on Churchill and, and uh, uh, you know, British history, which I studied at, at Yale, British imperial history. There's a fair amount of that. The American history. history is here, you know, colonial history. And uh, I have some specific topical things as Western history uh, here and American, Native American history uh, here. They're kind of stacked up there. And then just general American political history, Civil War stuff, my, my Lincoln books, which uh, there are so many of those now that they have their own stacks here, um, and uh, all the way through to the, to the 1920s over here. And it stops in the 20s, and then in my office it starts in the 30s, the, the New Deal, etc. cetera. Um, political philosophy, uh, uh, Philosophy generally, but heavily political philosophy uh, uh, in here. Going all the way down here, some books about the history of history, historiography, philosophy of history. Um, literary criticism, and then uh, and a lot of literary criticism. I find that interesting. Shakespeare, um, and, uh, and then starting contemporary modern and contemporary literature, sort of starting about 1910 uh, in here. Virginia Woolf famously said that the world changed in December of 1910. So I sort of start with Virginia. Should I be hit by a bus or when, when I'm run over by the streetcar, um, uh, our, our folks will be able to find it. Right now, I sort of know where everything is.